అందరికి నమస్కారం రిగార్డింగ్ ద రాజా రెడ్డి మర్డర్ కేస్ ఆఫ్ పూజా ఇంటర్నేషనల్ స్కూల్ అ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఫాల్స్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఫాల్స్ ప్రొపగెండా ఇస్ బీయింగ్ స్ప్రెడ్ ఇన్ ద మీడియా యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ ఇన్ ద పబ్లిక్ అండ్ అది చాలా ఇట్ ఈస్ క్రియేటింగ్ ప్యానిక్ ఇన్ ద మైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద పబ్లిక్ అండ్ చాలా న్యూస్ సెన్స్ కూడా జరుగుతుంది ఎందుకంటే ఐఎమ్ హ్యూర్ టు క్లియర్ అవుట్ ఫ్యూ పాయింట్స్ firstly the point raised was regarding the inquest and the first post mortem adhe gurinchi clearly as per the rules of uh, ipc and crpc uh, as a suspicious death a uh, section 174 case was registered first fir to in that uh, requisition was made and uh, panchayatdars were called and uh, inquest was held in the presence of the panchayatdars and after the inquest the body was handed over to the doctor the medical superintendent for uh, post mortem and uh, in the police requisition to the doctor for post mortem clearly we have mentioned that it is a suspicious death so you are requested to conduct uh, post mortem on the entire body plus you are requested because it is a suspicious death videography to also be done so in the requisition as you can see a uh, 174 case is generally a non grave case so an si level uh, officer is the io so in that uh, as you can see here we have written that uh, particularly examination extend to every part of the body plus please reserve the viscera and please conduct pm team of the doctor along with the videography so clearly it was mentioned in the post uh, requisition we put for the first post mortem so it was told that videography was not done videography photography as per the procedure was clearly done and even put in by us in the invest uh, in the requisition then uh, secondly it was raised that uh, pm was done very quickly yes it was done quickly by the doctors so suspicion arose to me also and that is why uh, i uh, the attendant along with the pm doctor he was questioned by the io he told yes a few procedural lapses are there then to reconfirm it i sent the io to the scene where the deceased body was lying so in that also it uh, the suspicion proved correct so after that uh, all of the suspicion uh, including some the investigation which was ongoing after the pm which was being done very quickly by the io and the team uh, few ground uh, uh, investigation also gave us some suspicion so clubbing all that together uh, i informed uh, superintendent of police kadappa and i requested him for a second post mortem by a separate team of doctors on this uh, superintendent of kadappa he gave uh, instruction to form a special team of doctors to conduct a second post mortem so the next allegation that a third party was involved which created pressure for the second post mortem is clearly wrong and uh, is baseless and it's just a rumor during the investigation when we were doing investigation all suspicion as i mentioned arose on that account it was the police who first gave the information to sp kadappa and uh, told that there is suspicious circumstances even after the post mortem so we request you to uh, hold a second post mortem also and that is why on the investigation of the io uh, a requisition was put for the second post mortem on the instructions of sp uh, kadappa sir and then the second um, uh, uh, pm lo after the second post mortem it came out and the second post mortem it came out that uh, it is throttling and uh, smothering so because it turned into a murder case that is why uh, the io was because it's a grave case the io was made uh, inspector ibrahim and through uh, that is when uh, he took over the investigation so um, also just to clear out the second uh, post mortem was also videographed properly so uh, that is there and uh, regarding uh, the doctor's involvement the doctor a5 who did the post mortem it was clear during the investigation that he colluded in the conspiracy along with a4 that is uh, prasanna lady at the night of the murder she made a call to the doctor two times he was called to the hospital and uh, that is why he being a part of the conspiracy has been arrested and sent to remand under uh, destruction of evidences and conspiracy regarding the other doctors present during the first post mortem 
uh, as per the procedure of IPC, CRPC and certain Supreme Court guidelines, we have sent a, a special report from our side. Then it is up to the medical department to take medical, uh, uh, because of medical negligence, uh, it is them to take uh, action, disciplinary action as per the department rules. So that is there. Finally, I want to say that all the procedures of IPC and CRPC till the end till the remand thing so spreading such uh, baseless rumors that uh, proper investigation was not done lapses are there is totally wrong and uh, spreading uh, false propaganda in the media in the public creating panic about a murder it is also very wrong and legal action will be taken against that person also lastly uh, uh, Antak Mundugura, he came on the uh, press and told that uh, he has information about uh, political murders to happen in Pradhatur. So accordingly, he was sent a uh, notice from the local police station. He was sent a legal notice that whatever evidences you have, you give to the local SHO and we will verify it and take action. In that also, he even after repeated calls, he never came to the local SHO and gave information. Rather, he went to Kadapa, gave a press meet, and then he came to my office, that is SDPO Pradhutur office, and gave a petition. In that also, he mentioned about the suspicion of some rowdy cheaters being involved in some political murders and in some other high-handed behaviors. So taking that, uh, already we had started doing rowdy cheater counselings in the police station. All police stations, all SHOs, Prati Roju, they are doing rowdy counselling, high-handed behaviors, high-handed behavior persons are called to the police station, they are warned, they are being counselled and they are being bind over also. And in that petition, neither he mentioned about Raja Reddy, nor about his property and nor about his being murdered.